The repairs of the Northern Fleet's large amphibious assault ship Olenogorsky Gorniak have been practically completed, a source in Crimean defense circles told TASS on Tuesday. External repairs on the large amphibious assault ship Olenogorsky Gorniak have been completed and work is currently underway to restore some internal compartments and premises, the source said. Russia's defense ministry reported earlier that overnight to August 4, Russian combat ships destroyed two Ukrainian naval drones that attempted to attack the Novorossiysk naval base. Novorossiysk Mayor Andrei Kravchenko specified that the attack had been repulsed by the crews of the combat ships Olenogorsky Gorniak and Suvorovitz. Earlier, a Russian naval ship has been damaged in a Ukrainian naval drone attack in the Black Sea, Ukrainian sources say. The assault reportedly occurred near the Russian port of Novorossiysk, which is a major hub for Russian exports. Russia's defense ministry said it had repelled a Ukrainian attack on its naval base there which involved two sea drones. Ukrainian security service sources say the Olenogorsky Gorniak was hit and suffered a serious breach. They told the BBC a sea drone was carrying 450 kilograms, 992 pounds, of dynamite when it hit the ship. Olenogorsky Gorniak, SDK-91, BDK-91, is a Project 775 large landing ship. Based in the Northern Fleet, part of the 121st Landing Ship Brigade. In 2007, she was named the best landing ship of the Northern Fleet. The ship was built at the Stychnia Polnokna shipyard in Gdańsk, Poland, serial number 775 fifths, entered the fleet on June 30, 1976. Until 1977, she had the name SDK-91, then BDK-91. Since May 7, 2000, she has been named Olenogorsky Gorniak in connection with the establishment of patronage over the ship by the Olenogorsk Mining and Processing Plant. Olenogorsky Gorniak is a 3,600-ton, 360-feet-long landing ship which launches amphibious forces close to shore and can dock and quickly unload cargo. The vessel in 2013 took part in a voyage to the remote Arctic archipelago of New Siberian Islands. In 2014, it accompanied aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov to the Mediterranean as part of Russia's military offensive in Syria. On the other hand, the Russian Black Sea Fleet has activated all missile launchers on non-engaged ships amidst an ongoing war in Ukraine. This morning, on the 16th of October, thunderous gunfire echoed from the fleet starting at 8.30 a.m. local time. An announcement from Sevastopol's governor, Mikhail Razvajayev, revealed that the sudden artillery fire was part of an exercise. The governor eased concerns through his telegram channel, ensuring that despite the early morning disruptions, Sevastopol remained calm. The fleet training commenced at the Northern Key around 8.30 a.m. The Russian ships of the Black Sea Fleet are equipped with a variety of missiles that serve different purposes. One type of missile commonly loaded into the missile launchers is the caliber cruise missile. These missiles are capable of striking targets on land, as well as at sea. They have a range of up to 2,500 kilometers and can be launched from both surface ships and submarines. Another type of missile found in the missile launchers of the Russian ships in the Black Sea Fleet is the Onyx supersonic anti-ship missile. 
These missiles are designed to target enemy ships and have a range of approximately 500 kilometers. They are capable of delivering a powerful warhead to neutralize enemy vessels and are an essential component of the fleet's offensive capabilities. In addition to the Caliber and Onyx missiles, the Russian ships of the Black Sea Fleet also carry the SHTIL-1 medium-range surface-to-air missiles. These missiles are primarily used for air defense purposes, providing protection against enemy aircraft and incoming missiles. The SHTIL-1 missiles have a range of up to 50 kilometers. Furthermore, the Russian ships of the Black Sea Fleet are equipped with the KH-35 anti-ship missiles. These missiles are designed to engage enemy surface vessels and have a range of approximately 130 kilometers. The KH-35 missiles are known for their low-altitude flight capabilities, making them difficult to detect and intercept. They are highly effective against a wide range of targets, including warships, patrol boats, and other naval assets. On the other hand, Russia's MiG-31 fighter jets carrying Kinzhal hypersonic missiles are ready for aerial patrols over the Black Sea, state news agency TASS reported. In fulfillment of the political decision by the country's leadership, MiG-31 aircraft with Kinzhal missiles are ready for patrolling in the airspace over the Black Sea and are just waiting for an order to come, TASS reported citing a source close to the Russian Defense Ministry. MiG-31 aircraft carrying Kinzhal hypersonic missiles will be escorted by Su-27 fighters in aerial patrols, according to the report. The recent addition of the Kinzhal capability plays a pivotal role in the application of the MiG-31 by the Russian Federation Aerospace Forces VKS, as highlighted by the statement made by Russian President Vladimir Putin on October 18. This statement saw him declare the commencement of continual air surveillance over the Black Sea by the Russian Aerospace Forces. Further, he indicated that the MiG-31 aircraft utilized in these operations would be equipped with Kinzhal hypersonic missile systems. Contrary to potential speculations, Putin reassured that these measures did not pose a threat to anyone. He emphasized that the primary objective of this step is to maintain situational awareness and uphold monitoring efforts, the Russian leader underlined. 